Hello and welcome back to the Practical IT channel. My name is Jeremy and today we are talking about Ventoy. They recently released a new version. So we're going to take a look at getting that installed and get a thumb drive updated for this latest version. So let's go ahead and open up a new tab and head over to ventoy.net and we can see 1.0.84 is the newest version. If we go to downloads, we can get the Linux version here. If you're using Windows, grab that version. It takes us over to GitHub and there we've got the download. So we'll save that and that's already done. You can open the containing folder and we can use the archive manager to extract this but I often will go command line with this myself go into the downloads folder and the command we want to use is tar zxvf then toy 1.0.84 linux.tar.gz okay now we'll change into ventoy 1.0.84 do an ls and the option we want is ventoy to disk.sh this is the command line version but what if we wanted to run the GUI version so in the beginning of ventoy there was no GUI version for linux it had a web ui version but it did not have the uh, an actual GUI so if we run x86 64 it'll ask for administrator password okay and so it detected the sandisk cruiser it is not currently formatted with ventoy so we're going to say install device will be formatted and all data will be lost that is fine and again it prompts it's going to reformat that and install ventoy okay so we've got matching versions here we can close out of this close out our terminal and we can take a look in our downloads to see if we've got any ISO images, which we do. It's an older one, but we can take this and drag it right over to Ventoy. And it should have copied over. Let's uh, take a look and maybe try this a slightly different way. Say copy. We'll paste it. And once that's done copying and it actually has a size, the Ventoy. disk will be ready to use. Now, if you wanted to use this, you would reboot your computer, use whichever key gets you into the boot menu, and select your USB drive to boot the computer from. Now, you can copy over really any ISO image that makes you happy. 
uh, as you can see here on the Ventoy page, there are more than a thousand images that have been tested. And most versions of Windows, going back to Windows 7, there's a huge list of Linux. There's various Unix BSD type, Chrome OS, and some other options as well. And here's a more in-depth list and you can find out a full list by clicking in that column. So that's going to wrap up this video. If you could take a moment to like, subscribe, and leave comments, that would be very helpful to the continued growth of this channel. And it inspires me to keep making videos. And on that note, I want to thank you one more time. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.